Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Techniques and this is your host Heman Gangwar and today we are going to learn exactly how I can subscribe my system to a Red Hat developer zero cost to no cost subscription so that I can have updates for my systems as well. So previously uh, those who work in the IT department they must be aware that uh, either you need to subscribe to a local repository or a satellite server in order to get the updates but Red Hat, after the closure of CentOS, it has introduced that they will provide a developer-based subscription so that you can attach up to 16 machines and you can patch or test the latest security updates or any other features as well. So for that, let's go to this website. And uh, if you don't have an account in Red Hat, you have to log into it and uh, register for your Red Hat account. Okay, uh, that's a simple page. You have to choose a unique Red Hat login for yourself, then provide your email address. It can be official or your uh, personal email address. Both will work. Your job role, you can select any of your choice. Then a strong password and uh, select their EULA and uh, then create your account. Once you create your account, you will get an email from the Red Hat uh, to verify your account. And after that, you can start using the subscriptions. Since I already have an account of Red Hat, so I won't create an extra for myself and I'll log in with my existing account. So providing our Red Hat password. Okay, from here, you can uh, reach to customer portal. And from here, yeah, you can select subscriptions. Now you will land to the Red Hat subscription page and you can see that you have one active subscription. So it is not there, just go to subscriptions link and select the valid subscription. The ID will be there and it is a developer subscription for individuals. Ideally, it should not be used inside the organization, but to be used independently for personal testing. So let's see if we have any system subscribed to it. So as of now, we don't have any system subscribed to it. So let's subscribe to the system. So for that, uh, you have to subscribe a system to the subscription manager command and I'm going to use that command for you. So let's move to our putty and uh, execute the commands. So that subscription manager binary should be there. Then use the flag register, then hyphen hyphen username, which will be X and hyphen hyphen password, which will be It may take a few seconds to uh, subscribe to the subscription info. Okay, so once it's subscribed successfully, you will get some message like this. And uh, you can see my lab system is subscribed to the network now. So we can now execute another command to see if my system is successfully subscribed or not. That is a subscription manager identity. Okay, so it will give you a system name, your uh, and the org ID and the org name. Now we can see if we have any uh, reports visible from there, though there will won't be any because we have to activate subscription as well. These things can be done in a single command, but uh, for the sake of ease, I'm showing in the different commands. So let's move back to our slides. So till here, we subscribed our systems. Now let's go to the portal and see what systems I have now. So you can see one system is there. It's not attached to any subscriptions. So just click our system. Now we can see that it's still not subscribed. So toggle to this subscriptions tab and uh, attach the required subscription. So we have both options. We can then auto attach and uh, we can also do a manual attach. So I'll prefer an auto attach from here. 
Okay, so a subscription attack is a self-supported system. So you can read more about that on the Red site. You can see the details. And now when you subscribe, nothing is hidden. You can see almost all the system facts from here, like from CPU or from the what private IP you are using, netted IP basically. Um, what all details you can see from here. So let's move back to our system and see uh, now if the repositories are visible to me or not. So Okay, that's still not visible. Uh, so first let's see if subscription lines are able to see any repositories. This command may take some time. So I'm going to pause the session. Okay, so since my command executed successfully, I see all the attachments coming from that subscription. So all these repositories are enabled from my system. By default, they are not enabled. So you can you enable them at runtime time and uh, check the required package for your sake. And then um, let's again try a YAM repo list and see if any repository is visible to us. Okay, so now it's able to see the attack six subscription. So in this way, we can see that the RPMs are visible from the centralized repository. So now, uh, depending on your choice, you can see exactly how many updates are visible for a system and what are the data information. So this command should return you all those values. So you can see that now we have the three security notices and similarly there are some bug fixes and some enhancements which we can use to update. So you can also run uh, check yum check update or yum update simply if you want to update directly your system to the latest uh, supportable patches. So that's the summary for here. Uh, Let's switch back to our slides and see if we missed anything else. So, uh, that's all. And last is the validation through here, which we have already done. So that's all from my end. And I hope that is helpful for you while doing your testing. So thank you very much for being such a nice audience. Thank you. Bye-bye.